Hello, this is Elizabeth Claire Brewington with Elton Brewington. We are your hosts for Brightside Global Trade TV. And we just heard from uh, Captain Jerry Baker, uh, and he gave us a wonderful presentation. And I will make sure that that video will play right after this one. So if you missed it, uh, we hope you will watch it and write us a comment and do the meology survey. We'll make sure that you have the link available. So my next speaker for today, and happy uh, new year, welcome 2022. And uh, we have Dr. Joanne Frederick, and she's all the way from Washington, DC. Uh, she's a licensed counselor, and she is going to share with you about New Year's resolution and why it's so important that you stick to the plan. It's easy to make resolutions. And I know next month we're going to be doing vision boards, but how can we make that happen? So tell us all about it, Dr. Joanne. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I also want to say hi and thank you to all the other folks on the panel. Um, so, you know, first I want to talk about what are New Year's resolutions, and this is how I defined it. So New Year's resolutions are a renewal time period where people's hopes, their thoughts, and their goals are to reset and start over on a positive note. Right. So in general, what are New Year's resolutions? So statistically, it shows that um, many people by the first month in New Year's resolution is done with, meaning that they hadn't accomplished it. They haven't thought about it. They forgot about it. And definitely by the time we're in month six, you know, people aren't thinking about their New Year's resolutions. So the question is, why do New Year's resolutions fail? So a couple of things I thought of was, you know, when we talk about New Year's resolution, it's a hype, right? It's a thing that everybody is saying and doing, and it's the right time to have this New Year's resolution. And so one reason why it fails is because there's no planning behind it, right? Um, in advance, you know, statistically, they say that it takes 30 um, days or 30 times doing something to make it a habit. And uh, we, normally folks aren't doing that 30 days in advance before having this New Year's resolution. And another thing is when we have these New Year's resolution, many times we don't have motivation to start it and finish it. And then we also don't have accountability to make it happen. And so, okay, we're going to make these New Year's resolutions, but how do we make it stick? So we can begin New Year's res resolutions at any time. So let me take out the word New Year and let me say resolutions. We can have these resolutions, these goals at any time. A good time, I think, would be your birthday, um, maybe midway during the year, a new season. So spring, summertime, that's what we can do with these resolutions. We should write it down. So take it from our head to our mouth and get a pen and paper and write down what is this goal that you have. And then also writing down smaller steps to that big goal. So earlier we talked about um, a big New Year's resolution people usually have is to lose weight. So to lose weight, you know, there's a lot of small steps to that. And those steps are mental, they're physical, they're spiritual to help you get to that point. And so what are the small steps to that? So one might be meditating, right? Meditating, or in other words, maybe even praying on what are your um, setbacks. So for me personally, I love sweets. I love cupcakes. And so as I started my resolution, not necessarily New Year's, I had to think about cutting out the sweet and how to focus on when I, for example, walked into CVS yesterday and I saw all these Valentine's candies and the colors and the chocolate. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this. But there's a time that I have to center myself to not fall to that. But if I have those small steps and goals, that can lead to the bigger goal of losing weight. So we have to remember those small goals, write them down. And then also um, get an accountability partner. So what that means is someone that we're able to talk to about it, a friend, a family, in my case, a mental health therapist, talk to your therapist about it. Everyone should have one by now. Um, like, what are you trying to do? And so you have someone to ask you, hey, look, 
did you do, you know, X, Y, and Z that you said you were going to do it yesterday? Well, how can I motivate you? And I think that accountability partner will help you accomplish the goal. So those are my tips and insight on New Year's resolution. We're going to take out that word new year and we're going to have resolution. So what that means is we're almost in February you can still have a resolution. You can start that tomorrow, but write it down, write those small goals, find an accountability partner. And those are the ways that we can make this stick. You're on mute, we can't hear you. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, I tell you, your insights are incredible. And if I could add just one element, and I have to be very balanced about that on losing weight, the thing that I've come to understand, and I, I'll say it this way, you know, if we're eating three times a day and we are eliminating once or twice, that math doesn't work. You know, we should be mailing three, number two letters, you know, at least three to four times a day. We should be mailing you know, three number two letters, at least three to four times a day. You know, I mean, I, I'm trying to be very balanced about it. And I mean, elimination, we have to find a balance with elimination. And, you know, and, you know, four times meals and two times elimination, come on now, that's not going, that, that math won't work. But uh, you'd be surprised what weight, how your weight will be tremendously shifted by putting a focus on that. I mean, I, 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 and you know, quite frankly, I didn't even think about that kind of thing until recently when I said, you know what, this math ain't gonna work. It won't hold up. But if I really put a little time on that, you'd really be surprised what could happen and the transformation. And I want to, I see you lost 20 pounds down. I see you 30 pounds gone away. You know, and I, you know, and the thing about it is, I don't want our community to become frustrated by the fact that I'm working out, but I'm not losing weight. <laughs> you know, you know. So, so you know, let, let's uh, let's get on board with that, and you know, because I, I mean, I don't know what you're thinking about that, how you feel about that. I, I see the skinny in me. <laughs> I see the skinny in me. I talked to one health professional, and he said your optimum weight. He suggested Dr. Boot. Dr. John, he said, your optimum weight was the weight you were when you were in your 20s. That's your optimum weight. I look at that and I look at where I'm at. I said, what? What? Because I was like 180 pounds in my 20s. And so, you know, I'm a pretty good far away. But I, you know, I see the skinny in you. I see the skinny in you. And the skinny in you says that the more weight you lose, the healthier you'll be the better your clothes will fit. That's something to get excited about. Yes, right it is. There. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's something to get excited about right there. So, so I want to thank, thank you so much, Dr. Joanna, for your contribution and your advice about that and staying on par with our goals for the year 2022. And so I, I, I just, uh, I think I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited and uh, holding on and gripping and holding solid. We're in Thank January you. now, so we want to be here in December. Oh, Thank oh, you. Oh, passing those numbers. Oh, we, was, can was, I was, add one thing? Yes. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So as a mental health therapist, you know, I have all these tips that I verbally share with people, but I do have two products that might help others as well who may mm -hmm. not have a therapist. So one, I have a YouTube channel and it's called Ask Dr. Joanne and mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's a lot of mental health things and just things to help people through these times. And then I also have a book. The book is called Copeology. I have it right here. Let me just show you okay. what it looks like. Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Copeology. Okay. Copeology. Wow. Mm -hmm. We address anxiety, depression, self-care. Men need self-care. And all of these goals kind of align with different parts of New Year's resolutions or resolutions that people had as well. So I just wanted to drop those two resources for folks Absolutely. to follow up with. 
Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, you can check that out and we'll make sure that it's in the comment section so you know where to go with the links. Uh, so thank you for sharing that with us and get the book. This is a book club. So uh, there's a lot of book lovers in this group. So uh, get the book. Um, so I want to offer you, uh, we're offering a special 30 day trial uh, where you can be a guest on our show and you can get all these wonderful giveaways. Um, and I want to just end uh this really quick um so thank you for watching this segment with dr joanne fragment and frederick and um if you wish to subscribe you can go to brightsideglobaltrade.org all right all right